I uh, I just saw the video that uh, Dale, the Utopian, uh, posted about him having received word that uh, old Pipe Pops passed away, having lost his battle with, uh, I believe it was, esophageal cancer. And, um, <clears throat> so I'll make a, somewhat of an, an, an impromptu video paying tribute to him. I, I didn't know old Pipe Pops personally. I, I, I never really corresponded with him. I, I may have put a comment here or there on, on, on his videos, but, uh, You know, I, while I may not have had as intimate a contact with him as some of you may have, I think back to all the times I, that I, I describe the community of pipe smokers on YouTube as a family. And one of the ways that you know that your family is that you share each other's good news and you celebrate uh, for each other when good things happen to those in your family and on the flip side of that you share the sadness and the uh, heartache when someone in, in, in your family suffers a loss and uh, I, I I don't think it would be too presumptuous of me to say that I I know that I speak on behalf of many, if not all of you, um, and all of us in the pipe smoking family on YouTube when I say that uh, I'm deeply saddened to learn about his passing. Um, you know. We speak often of pipe smoking as being somewhat of a <laughs> bygone practice. Uh, you don't see that many people smoking pipes around in public uh, or in families or what have you that much anymore. And we, as a family of pipe smokers across the world, not just on YouTube but around the world, have proven that it's while it's something that you seldom see, uh, it's not quite as uh, extinct a hobby or a practice. And when we engage in conversation about pipe smoking and in particular pipe smokers, we often talk of pipe smokers as being the quintessential or stereotypical older male who's very affable, very um, personable, uh, very friendly, not easily angered, but very calm and um, soft-spoken, uh, very tender-hearted. And from those, from those verbal descriptions, we come up with a mental image of you know, one's grandfather, or one's uncle, or some some relative in our family from our past. And I can't help but mention that, as you know, many of you have seen the tributes that I've done to my late doctor, who was uh, the pipe smoker of my past. I can't help but mention that so too would it go with old pipe pops that he embodied not just the characteristics of that uncle or that grandfather that smoked a pipe but his appearance his demeanor his disposition um you know a wry sense of humor um a punctuation in his speech that maybe at first would seem a little bit curmudgeonly but beneath that outer crust was a man with a golden heart 
and um, he, the the videos that I watched of his um, were just that. I mean, he he would start each you know each vid saying, "Hey there, old pipe smokers, old pipe pops here," and that was just so perfect because if I didn't have the late Dr. Davis in my life from my past to depict that image of the classic pipe smoker then the image that I would conjure up ultimately I think would be something very close and not exactly like Old Pie Pops. Old Pie Pops was you know just someone you wanted to get to, to know, someone you wanted to interact with and someone you wanted to smoke a pipe with and not just be there sharing in the briar but also sharing in conversation and the exchange of thoughts and um, his videos I, I really enjoyed and I kept them in my prayers uh, as I'm sure many of you did also um, and I am saddened for his passing and I'm saddened for the loss that's been uh, sustained by his family I would ask all of you um, to lift them up in prayer if uh, you are of the faith that involves prayer um, as Jay would say send good mojo um, keep them in your thoughts um, you know, regardless of your your religious background, I myself am, am a born-again Christian. I'll pray for um, his family, but regardless of what faith you have, or if you do not follow a certain faith, the one thing that I think that we all can agree on to do, on behalf of old Pie Pops, and the memories that he left, behind for us that that rich legacy is to take your favorite pipe and load it up with your favorite blend and line up in his honor because old pie pops was a favorite pipe smoker and the memories that he left for us are as sweet as your favorite blend. So, that being said, Some Piper's Pleasure in my favorite Boswell. Bye, Pops. This one's for you. God bless you.